Hi, I'm Doug English, and I'm the Personal Ministries Director for the Minnesota Conference. And I'm afraid of diving boards. Now, I love the water, I like swimming, I like water slides, but you won't catch me jumping off the diving board. That's my fear. And everybody's afraid of something. Do you know what the number one fear in the world is? Public speaking. Which I suppose means that most people viewing this video are not going to be preaching anytime soon. Well, that's okay, because telling other people about Jesus is not just done from the pulpit. That's what Personal Ministries is all about, sharing the good news with the world around you. And there are so many different ways that God has gifted His people sharing the good news about Jesus with the world. And there's lots of ways to do it. Once you find what your gift is, there's no reason why you have to confine using it in your own church. We have a pulpit exchange program. So some of the gifted elders out in our conference who uh, do know that they can preach and are comfortable doing that can help with some of the churches that don't get a pastor every week. Talk to your pastor and let him know that you'd be willing to travel and go to some of the churches that have a need on a weekly basis. We're here at the Personal Ministries Department to help you find your way. You see, the Bible is clear that when we give our heart to Jesus, He gives us the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gives everyone gifts. Some people are evangelists, some are preachers, some are teachers. But clearly not everybody fits into those categories. What about you? We've hired Karen Lewis, Bible worker trainer for the whole conference. And she's willing to come around and do seminars at churches all over the conference for people who feel like this might be their gift. And they learn not only how to give a Bible study, but how to find someone who's interested in doing a Bible study. They learn the different methods of Bible study and the different programs that are available and how to follow up on a Bible study once it's finished. The good news is that there's a lot of different gifts. Hospitality is a gift. So is peacemaking and administration and giving and communications and good works. And the church needs all of the gifts to we need people who can make music and organize parties and take Pathfinders camping and teach the adult Sabbath school. And here in Minnesota, the person who plows the snow is an important individual. You know, maybe a clear parking lot will take away the last excuse that is preventing somebody from walking through the door. Our department is here to help churches, help their members find where their niche is in carrying the gospel to the world. And many of those niches are in supportive work, but a lot of them are on the front line as well. So we hold seminars and training events on a variety of topics, how to give Bible studies, how to follow up on interests, how to prepare for public evangelism. And I love the opportunity of going around to various different churches on a weekend. And if you'd like me to come by and do a weekend seminar, talk to your pastor about how we can get a seminar going that you can attend. Do you know why the church exists? Well, it's not so you can get a good sermon each week. It's to take the gospel to the world, to grow the kingdom of God. And the Holy Spirit has gifted you to support that mission. And you know what I'm most excited about? Small groups. Because let's face it, the church is not going to be able to exist in its current form all the way up to the second coming. We know from Bible prophecy that there's going to come a day when we don't have our buildings anymore. We're not going to be able to meet in churches. We won't have the conference office or our schools or our hospitals. When that day comes, it doesn't mean the mission is over. It just means we have to find a different way of carrying out the mission. And it's going to happen in homes, in small groups. So it makes sense for us to invest time learning right now how we can get ready for that day and be practicing it up until that time. Because the wonderful thing is, when we practice small group ministries now, baptisms happen now. So if you're interested in any aspect, not just small group ministries, but any aspect of reaching out to the world around you, about finding your niche and supporting the mission of your local church, give us a call. We'd love to help out. You can reach us through our website, mnsda.com, or by calling our office at 763-424-8923, or just contact your pastor. 
and ask him to get in contact with me so we can get something going at your church. Or you can find out the next seminar that's going to be happening conference-wide. And let's help you find your place in this great gospel world.